Girl, there's gonna be so much recycling after this. So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new, hello, welcome. So pretty much Beauty Bay had like a little mini sale promotion on and um, I saw the email. I thought I'd just look through a few things and um, one thing led to another and I fully broke my makeup no buy. So um, let's dive in, shall we? I also just want to give a quick shout out to my Patreon family. Thank you so much for your continued support since they pretty much paid for this entire makeup haul. Every single dollar or like cent or anything I make from Patreon is 100% fed straight back into my YouTube channel. So pretty much helps me buy costumes, wigs, outfits, makeup, the work. So I just want to give you guys a huge shout out and thank you for your continued support. Let's dive in, shall we? So the first thing I picked up is this super cute little loose glitter from LA Splash in the shade Hawaiian Fizz. I absolutely love like lemony chartreuse colours, so as soon as I saw this glitter, it went right in my basket since it's so cute. So from Wet n Wild, I picked up two of their little limited edition eyeshadow quads, which was part of their like little Game of Thrones collection. So I got the Knight's Quad and Dragon Scales. I have already done a Daenerys and a Cersei transmission, which I will link down below. But I thought for the price tag, Wet n Wild eyeshadows are pretty decent. So um, I couldn't resist and literally they was on sale for like £2. So um, complete bargain, had to buy them. Girl. Also from Wet n Wild, I picked up the Secret Garden Rendezvous eyeshadow quad. I'm just like so drawn to anything with roses on it since um, drag name is Luna Rose. So anything that's like rose themed just like really speaks to me. So um, had to buy it, girl. Also helped that it was on sale, girl. From LA Splash, I picked up five of their classic horror liquid lipsticks. If you guys don't know this about me, I am such a huge fan of like horror films, creepy things, scary things, Halloween in general is like my entire like life. Despite this like bubblegum fantasy I have going on, I absolutely love creepy, dark, weird things. So when I saw the classic horror liquid lipstick collection, I had to buy them. This isn't the whole collection, most were out of stock, but I did manage to pick up Mummy, Creature, Miss Invisible, Phantom, and Frankie. And just the packaging alone speaks to me on like a whole nother level. So um, hopefully when the other colors come back in stock, I definitely need to pick them up since this whole like vibe is literally everything to me. I did also pick up the classic horror eyeshadow palette from LA Splash since, like I said, anything Halloween themed is like so up my alley. The colours in it are kind of a little bit unconventional and the colour kind of arrangement is um very like rainbow and out there, but um I'm in that mood right now, if you couldn't tell, so I needed it, I just thought it was cute, and again the packaging and theme of this whole collection is like everything to me. That's a really bad tongue pop. From Melt Cosmetics, I picked up one of their Ultra Matte Lipsticks in the shade 1969. It's this really like funky, muted, orangey colour and um, I don't really know what drew me to it. I've never tried one of Melt Lipsticks before, but I thought it was worth a go. It was on sale, so um, can't really go wrong for it, girl. From Makeup Geek, I grabbed four of their loose pigments. So I grabbed the shade Firefly, which is like a really pretty kind of golden orange colour. The shade Atlantis, which is like a nice steely blue. The colour Voodoo, which is a true like really bright, vibrant green. And it just really spoke to me. You guys know chartreuse and green is like my whole vibe. And this colour gives it to me so hardcore. And then I grabbed the shade Illusion, which is like a soft kind of everyday pinky colour. So I'm... Um, yeah, those all on sale. I really like Makeup Geek. It's one of my favourite kind of eyeshadow brands and formulas, so I thought I'd give some of their loose pigments a try. I also picked up one of their sparklers in the shade Solstice, which is like a really pretty kind of mint green glitter moment, and um, I just think it would be really pretty, like, on the inner corner of my eyes if I'm doing, like, a really, like, minty look. So, um, yeah, I needed it, girl. I also grabbed two powder highlighters from Wet n Wild. So I got the shade Bloom Time, which looks like a really nice like blush topping kind of colour. And then I got the shade Awesome Blossom. This like colour is not like my skin colour at all. But I'm hoping if I take like a really loose like fluffy brush and just kind of dust kind of my shoulders and chest area, it'll just add like a nice soft kind of J-Lo glow without it looking like too harsh or anything. I think on my face it's going to look really noticeable from straight on at all times. But um... It might be nice mixing with some bronzer to add that, like, summer glow. I also grabbed the shade Blossom Glow, which looks like a really nice, like, icy pink colour. And I think it'll look really pretty, like, on the inner corners and, like, with a really, like, blush look. will look so pretty. So, um, can't wait to try this one out either. 
From Shikapil, I picked up one of their eyeshadow pans in the shade Kiss Kiss, which looks like a really nice, like, deeper burgundy colour. I just can see myself wearing this, like, all over my eyelid and doing, like, a full-on, like, fall, like, rusty moment. And honestly, Sugarpill's eyeshadow formula is, like, one of my favourites. Along with Give Face Cosmetics and Makeup Geek, I feel like they can do no wrong. So, um, I had to pick it up to add into my little Sugarpill Pro palette since it's just so pretty. From Makeup Geek, I picked up five more of their blush pans. Pretty much every single time I do my makeup, I reach for this palette full of their other blushes. So, um, I needed more colours since I use them all the time. They've never let me down. I'm wearing one right now and I just really like their formula. And again, everything was on sale for, like, at least 50% off. So, um, I grabbed literally every single colour that I think I can work with to pop in my palette, girl. And then finally, all that's left in the box is a bunch of different single eyeshadows from the brand Makeup Geek. My Z palettes full of their shadows used to be like my holy grail. Every single time I do my makeup, I reach for their colours. So I thought I'd buy a couple more kind of eyeshadows just to like throw in the mix and encourage me to use it again since my Z palettes were life to me. So um, I definitely need to bring them back on my channel in a future transformation. Yeah, that completes my makeup haul from Beauty Bay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below how you want me to utilize any of these products in future transformations. And don't forget to subscribe to a bitch. There should be one new video every single Monday, 8 p.m. at Greenwich Mean Time. But um, make sure that bell's hit because there's bound to be bonus days. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.